What is plasma arc welding? Plasma arc welding is similar to the tungsten inert gas welding process. Because it uses the tungsten electrode and argon as the inert shielding gas. The only difference lies in the construction of welding torch. It is based upon the principle that the coalescence of the work pieces is carried out by the heat obtained from the constricted arc between the tungsten electrode and the work pieces. To understand how plasma arc welding process is carried out, let's join these two metal plates using the process. First, let's understand the construction of plasma arc welding. The welding setup consists of a DC generator whose positive terminal is connected to the clamp and the negative terminal is connected to the welding torch. The welding torch basically consists of a non-consumable tungsten electrode surrounded by a constricting nozzle which is further surrounded by a shielding gas nozzle. Plasma gas passes through the gap between the tungsten electrode and constricting nozzle and shielding gas passes through the gap between the constricting nozzle and the shielding gas nozzle. The most commonly used plasma and shielding gas is the argon gas. Argon gas is supplied from the argon gas cylinder connected to the welding torch via a DC generator. Now let's use this setup to join these two metal plates. Now let us switch on the power supply and then turn on the knob of the argon gas cylinder. We see that the argon gas flows through the welding torch and when it comes in contact with the current carrying electrode, it gets ionized. This ionized gas is called plasma. Now when we bring the welding torch closer to the interface of the metal plates, we see that an arc is generated from the welding torch. Note that this arc is called the transferred arc because the generated arc travels from the electrode to the metal plates. This arc remains concentrated and straight due to the squeezing action of the constricting nozzle. This constriction produces a lot of heat at the interface. The plasma gas is also protected by the supply of argon gas through the gap between the constricting nozzle and the shielding gas nozzle. Now as we move the welding torch and the filler rod along the interfaces of the plates, we see that a thin keyhole gets generated along the interface due to the high temperature of the plasma gas. This keyhole results in the melting of the metal plates along their edges. Now again when we move the filler rod and the welding torch along the interface of the plates, we see that the melted metal flows back into the keyhole thus forming a molten joint between the metal plates. Thus we can say that plasma arc welding is a welding process where the two metal work pieces are joined due to the formation of an arc between the electrode and the work pieces. The arc is basically produced from the plasma gas. Now let us list the advantages and disadvantages of plasma arc welding. The advantages are as follows. In this process, the heat input can be controlled properly due to its concentration. It offers uniform deep penetration. In this process, the metal deposit rates are higher and the heat affected zone is small due to the concentration of arc. The disadvantages are as follows. In this process, the welding equipment is expensive and the nozzle surrounding the electrode needs frequent replacement. Related terms are